Well, a new dining and entertainment venue will soon be coming to a popular Spartanburg Trail. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay joins us live with details on that. Tell us about it, Scotty Kay. <laughs> That's right, Diane. The rail trail here has proven to be a successful place for Spartanburg residents who want to get out and exercise or just enjoy being outside. And soon there will be a new stop along the way here for folks who use this trail and Spartanburg City officials say they're hoping it brings even more people outdoors. The rail trail itself has gotten a lot more popular over the last couple of years. They've had a couple of years back to back of record numbers and last year was another record. While many places shut down during COVID, one place saw more traffic. That place was the Mary Black Rail Trail. People who are using the rail trail right now, I'm out there a lot and it's families with kids. It's people out getting exercise. It's just people enjoying the fresh air. One of those people is Cheryl Robinson. She started using the rail trail when the pandemic first started and has seen many benefits from it. The rail trail has helped me lose 54 pounds in, in a year. Robinson says she walks this stretch of the trail several times a week. Right now, there's an empty lot she passes each time, but soon that lot will be a new dining and entertainment venue. We haven't had one that's oriented itself specifically to the rail trail this way, and it's a real good example of how trails like this stimulate economic development. Robinson said she thinks the new development would be another great benefit for people like her who use the trail often. It would be nice because, you know, a lot of us don't have our water bottles with us, and we can stop and get a bottle of water or a drink, whatever they have. It's really kind of a perfect thing to turn what might have been like a little trip where you're there for an hour or so into maybe an, a whole afternoon kind of thing. The new venue will have a restaurant and will include space for food trucks and live music. It's something unique there, something you see in other cities, and we're really excited to see one of these concepts come to Spartanburg. Now there's no official groundbreaking date just yet, but city officials say they expect things to start moving by late spring or early summer, and they're hoping that phase one of the project is completed by the end of this year. We're live in Spartanburg, Scotty K, 7 News. All right, thank you, Scotty Kay. Well, to get a closer look at the rendering of the new development, we're going to have all of that on our website, WSBA.com.